So now that we can add uh, new friends and we can delete uh, friends or records from the database, um, I want to work on the ability to update. So as part of the ability to update, uh, I'm going to turn this into a master details view. So in a master details view, I would have a couple of items from the um, database showing uh, as, as a record. And then instead of delete, this would probably say details. So if it said details, then when you click it, it would go fetch the record. Uh, and it would fetch the record based on the primary key and bring it back. And then when the record comes back, then we can go in and we can choose to update it or delete it. And if we choose to delete it, then it deletes the record from the database and then just returns to this index. Or if we choose to update it, then it's going to open the record in a different page that has form fields. And those form fields will be populated with the data from the record. Uh, and then we can go in and we could change the spelling or whatever we wanted to do. And when we click Save, uh, then it would post back uh, to, the, to the page and update the record in the database and then come back to the index. So there's a few things that we want to keep in mind when we're doing this. For instance, we may not want the ability for users to edit the primary key. That would be a bad idea. Uh, so we might want to make that read only. So they can see it, but they can't edit it. But then other things we would want to let them edit, uh, no problem. The other thing I'm going to do while I'm in here is I'm going to take this ID out of the index page. Um, it's not really useful uh, to anybody that's using the application, so um, that way we can, it, it just doesn't need to be there. But I do want to show it down here in the details view. All right, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is come into index, and I need to change this from delete uh, to details. And it's not going to be delete friend, I'm going to do get friend. Because what I want it to do is come uh, grab the primary key, or in my case the friend ID, uh, and go get that individual record. So I'm calling it get friend. Uh, and then I'm going to grab the row friend ID uh, from there. Uh, but I'm in index and I don't want that to display anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Even if I'm not displaying it, it's still available uh, for me to use down here, so that's not a problem. Okay, so I think that's the index. Uh, then when we go over to app.py, uh, I need to do the get friend. And so I'm going to pass it the friend ID. Um, and I'm starting to group these things together in friend. I'll probably come back and refactor this one here in a minute. Uh, but for now, uh, the URI is going to be friend uh, and then forward slash and then whatever the uh, ID is, the primary key is. So this will be coming from here. And it's getting populated with whatever the row name dot friend ID is for the, the record I clicked on. It's going to run the method. It's going to run the function get friend. Uh, it's going to create a friend object, populate it with the class uh, query get or 404. So it's either going to go get the record and if the record's not there it's going to return a 404. Uh, and the the uh, argument it needs to pass in is friend ID so that it can basically the primary key so it can return the data. And then when the object has been populated it's going to come down and we're going to render uh, friend.html so I need to create a new page here. Um, and then I'm going to pass it uh, the form data that I'm going to pass into it is going to be friend. So this is this. I'm going to pass in the object or the 404 that I just got uh, and then the page title there. So let's make friend real quick. So friend.html is going to look a lot like add friend. So I can duplicate that. And then I'll just go in here and make a couple changes. So if I'm looking down through here, this is a template. So this is going to be the, the dynamic piece, block body. Um, 
URL for index, so I created a home button so I could go back to the main page. So this index, URL for index, that refers to the function index, which is here, essentially just returning that home page. If there is a form, so if a form gets passed in here, so this form is referring to this. So if there's not an object, that would come back blank. Uh, and if there is an object, then it will get passed in here. And then from that form that just got passed in, I'm going to do the cross-site request forgery token. Uh, I want to get the friend ID. So this is that master detail. So even though I don't see it on the master, I want to see it in the details. Uh, first name, last name. And now I need two buttons. Uh, I need the update button and the delete button. So the delete button is going to continue to call delete friend. And the update button is going to call update friend. And they're both URL4, so I'm calling the function name. So I'm going to need to write a new function for update friend. Finally, I close up the form. I close up the end if uh, and, and on down. Okay, let's save this up. So at this point, I have the record right here and I can see uh, all the details in the record, but I can't edit it. I've got my delete button and it should work because I'm using that delete function and it worked before. Uh, and then I've got the update. And so now I need to program an, uh, an update friend function that will uh, open this record up in a, in a field that I can edit it or in a form where I can edit it. So that's what we're going to work on next. So we need to build update friend.html and uh, update friend functions. So let's do the update friend. So the route is friend, right? So I'm keeping that consistent. Then it's the ID, I'm keeping that consistent. And then it's forward slash update. And I've got a get and a post method. And I have the get and post method because when I click update, it's going to be a get request that opens this up. And then when I click save, it's going to be a post function that updates the database. I'm creating a friend object and I'm getting the record from the database based off the friend ID or I'm returning the 404. And I'm also creating a form object from my friend form. So this is going to be for a post. Uh, so if it is, uh, if I've clicked save, then I need it to uh, populate friend.firstname with whatever is in that form.data and the same for last name. Notice I'm not letting them update um, friend ID. After I've got the object updated now, then I can commit it. And after I commit it, um, then it's going to do this get friend again, which is up here. So it's going to take me back to here. So my drawing is not quite accurate. The arrow should come over here. It'll bring me here. All right, so if I haven't made any changes, or if this is the get request, it's the first time I've seen it, then the form of the friend ID, the data field, is going to be populated with whatever is in the friend object. So I'm going to get it from the database and put it in the object. If this form is loading up for the first time, it's going to take the details that are in the object and put them in the form. And if it's if I've clicked save, it's going to take uh, the details from the form and put them in the object. So I go down through here with my details um, and then uh, it's going to return update friend. So that's the, uh, I still need to build that page. Uh, so it's going to create the object, create the, the form object. Um, it's going to populate these things and then it's going to into update friend. It's going to pass the form, which will have the data in it. Uh, page title is good. Update legend is good. Uh, I need to put legend actually up here as well. OK. 
Okay, so this seems like it should work. I still need to build update friend. And it's going to be a very close approximation of this. So let's just duplicate that. And I need to make a couple changes here. Uh, so again, update friend is just it's a dynamic, it's a template, so it's extending the base uh, block body. Move down through here, legend, the request token, uh, friend ID label is going to be the friend ID. Now remember, if remember from the drawing, friend ID is the primary key. I want to set it to read only. So Jinja templates lets us use read only equals true, and then we can set this field so that they can't edit it. But the rest of the fields they can edit and then finally there's the save button um, and this is interesting because there's no action up here or there's no form action here uh, so when they click save what's going to happen with post is it will take the data and it'll send it back to itself it'll send it back to uh, the update which is right here when it comes back to itself that's the post and then it will do these things where it actually updates the database All right, lots of moving parts here. Let's uh, test it out. So far, so good. I can come in to see details. Um, and notice I can't edit anything here, but I can delete. That's good. And I can come in here, and if I click Update, ooh, get a nasty error. Friend form, what was it? Friend form has no attribute friend ID. So friend form was up here. Oh, yep, it doesn't have the friend ID in it. I was trying to use it. Uh, now, remember, friend ID is a number, so it's an integer field. And we've already imported string field, but we need to import integer field. So we'll come up here and import an integer field. from WT forms, uh, import the integer field. And now we can populate friend ID. It'll be an integer coming from the database. And the database table is named friend ID. All right, so let's try this again. good I can see the details looks good nice and I can't update but here I can and it takes me back to the page where then I could update again or I could go home so if I wanted to go back to the index I could just come in to the code and change where we're doing the update instead of redirecting it to get friend I could redirect it to um, index so it looks like my updates are working like I expected them to uh, I do want to try one more time Add is working. That's great. Regression testing there. I haven't broken anything. And it's ID 41. And it's state ID 41. So it's not create, It's not doing anything weird with the database. It's actually doing an update. Uh, so it looks like I have the update functionality working as well.